do 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 around here roughly about here now and should be coming out now there we go and up the hill and up in the station around the points around the back and conveniently stopping on some points so let's pause that a minute right quick change to the torch loco so we'll have a quick scan underneath so let's set it running uh, which one is it there we go that one and we're going the other way so off we go Set my phone in. Right, past my cupboard, which I have to show you later because I finished that as well. Now. So this is the underside. really loud sorry I didn't think so that's the underneath so plenty of space it's all good and it's all sealed so that's fine Okay, that looks a lot worse than it does off camera. <coughs> so, that is my cupboard that I said I would put shelves and lights in. I painted it blue and white and put white shelves in. And some lights. Which, unfortunately, I can't have white. So the easiest one that was uh, most pleasant on the eyes was the blue. But, you know, it's not bad. And I put some lights in it that I had some LED lights lying around. So, even with the cupboard, well, I suppose I paid, what was it, five pounds for the cupboard ages ago. So I bought the cupboard, so that doesn't count. That was five pounds. Um, but the shelving and the paints and the lights and everything went in it were free. Didn't cost me a penny. As for the rest of the layout, now the track work is finished. Six tracks in the station. Four loops all the way round. Dual layered. All the woodwork, all the bench work, track work, boarding, insulation padding, track, underlay, wiring, everything so far, plaster to do the rockery, polystyrene to put the track on, boarding, more plaster, paints, everything so far is all what I had lying around. So to date, this whole layout so far, still free, still no outlay since the last layout or the one before that so I've had enough bits of things to 
cuddle together four decent loops so now what are we doing so this is going to have a wall here and then be extended up and then all this will be under cover to about here so I've got access to the points and this is all going to be town with buildings and things and then coming down into the station brick wall at the back retaining wall then shed type storage arrangement sidings here going back to that board that will be under cover some form of tunnel stroke wall arrangement here banking at the back all the way around to about here then a board in that corner with the 009 coal mine layout uh, hills and stuff will continue up here then something in the corner there that will ease the eye into the town and then the lower level I don't know not yet I'm really blank I've got space for track here or roads not very much space for a corner here unless I cut this out and just go around there a little bit of space here but I have to choose where I put my controllers there is room to go around the back for a couple of tracks I designed that corner at the back specifically to allow a couple of tracks in should I need it or at least one track I've got second radius curves for small locos so I could make something um, there's a bit of room here for buildings and then there's some space here this corner's tight so I did say in a previous video I might extend this to where the bookshelf is so just a bit of wood here that would give me some more corner but I need sidings but the thing is I've got lots of buses lots of buses so and cranes and lorries so I want to utilise them and loads of cars so I'm still a kid I like my trains but I also like just toys so I want to get my cars and buses on the go so I'm going to need a network of roads around here somehow anyway oh, sit down before I fall down <clears throat> well thank you very much for uh, listening um, if you did make it to the end appreciate it apparently according to YouTube's algorithms if you do watch to the end it makes the video more prominent apparently not that mine needs to be prominent um, thank you very much I hope everyone's staying safe um, let's put this down so it's not shaking there, right, I've got to crouch down hope everyone's staying safe and keeping well um, those of you that have messaged me about your situations um, our thoughts are with you and hope you're on the mend and doing well um, everybody else just stay safe uh, lockdown is easing now in this country um, uh, I myself will be possibly going back to work next week so railway time and freedom is going to be a rarity um, hours are being changed and things so I don't know how easy or difficult the, the new life is going to be it's a very strange situation to, to know you've got a job but don't know how long you're going to be working and what you're going to be paid it's very interesting but I'll, I'll know within a couple of days it's just right now because everything's so up in the air and then we've got everybody behaving silly as well haven't we so we're all isolating and doing our bit and then you've got people off down the beach football fans off cheering like nothing's happened you know it, it's uh, my heart goes out to everybody that's got somebody that's suffering or has lost somebody or is aware of somebody that's lost somebody and when you just see the sheer ignorance of the population um, yeah I am going to say it I'm not going to go on a rant but I am going to call them out I've suffered I haven't seen my son for months just had to talk to him on the phone and on the computer because everybody's making sacrifices to to help the NHS and help survive the country and when Muppets decide to go to the beach or celebrate a football win even if it's a well deserved football win and risk thousands of lives 
one has to question just who you're, you know, what's the thinking behind that? It's selfish. Don't do it. So, yeah, right, rant over. Um, just because I've got friends and they're all really struggling because they're making sacrifices and it's not friend, not fair that we should all be making a sacrifice when those out there just think, ah, oh, the sun's out. Let's just do what we want. It's not right. And we won't get into the rest of the political thing because the world is a mess. But we all need to stand together. We all need to stay strong. And we can get through this. Because most of us are pretty intelligent. So on that note, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, like, button, ding. All that sort of stuff that apparently YouTubers say at the end of videos. Do that. And uh, I shall see you soon. Bye.